Okay. And the stationary supplies. Stationary. And you can go in any stationary store. And this is a simple watercolor kit. How much is this kit? Four forty nine. And you got some brushes right here. And something as simple as that. Um, you could do some really awesome, awesome artwork for t-shirts. And I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to cop this and um, see you in a minute. Hey folks, Gary here from the t-shirt help desk. Hope everything is going well and all your... Uh, you know, t-shirt dreams and t-shirt endeavors are, you know, coming true for you. Today I want to talk about a style of um, t-shirt graphic. And the style of t-shirt graphic I want to talk about is a paint style or a watercolor styled uh, t-shirt graphic. Uh, if you look here, this is an Abercrombie and Fitch graphic and um, I'm gonna pull in closer here and you can see that um, it has a very uh, hold on go back some go back some it has a very uh, paint style it looks like it was hand painted and of course you know it's, it's not and there's a way to achieve this and doing it in Photoshop and just you know taking it and kind of playing with those um uh filters doesn't always achieve that you know you would think it does but it doesn't and uh doing it a brush stroke in um illustrator which is a vector based program that doesn't always get it too you know the, what you really want to do is actually paint now, I know that may seem difficult, but I'm going to show you how really easy um, it is and to really get it to be to be neat, but nice in that painterly feel also. And I'm going to go through uh, a couple of these so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you look at this, I mean, just a really awesome, you know, kind of vintage look, right? And, and this is done with watercolor. Um but they kind of it's, it's kind of like a i don't know it's kind of a it's a regular graphic that you would do in photoshop or illustrator but there's something they do to it to give it a really awesome look i'm going to go uh to the next one and and you see this one uh beacon harbor distillery now you it doesn't have to say this it could, i mean like it could say whatever you want to say it could say you know rock and roll um bar you know drinks on us it could say the thug you know what i'm saying the thug dungeon you know what i'm saying uh anything you know what i'm saying thug dungeon hennessy on tap or something like that it, it, you can that's the great thing about um doing t-shirts is that you can take something that's supposed to be one thing and totally do it another way to reach your niche or to say something to the people you're trying to reach. You know, it could be really kitschy. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm really talking about the look. And the watercolor just gives it a really dynamite, just this vintage look. You know what I mean? So I think there's another one here, the old alehouse. Now you can have something that says the old juke joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Creole, Creole juke joint. Uh, you know, I mean anything. It could be something um, that's you know, dealing with your part of town, your city. Um, but the watercolor just really gives it that vintage, authentic look. You know. Um, this one right here, Apple Style. This is a, a paint looking one. And I'm going to show you how this is done. All right. So here we go. We're going to go um, design it. Okay. Peace. Hey, people. Now we're in the design portion of our video. Now I use Illustrator just because I've been using it. For years, I know that 
you can use Ink Inkscape which is a free program and you can do the same thing in Photoshop but I just prefer to do my designing especially when it comes to fonts I prefer to do my designing in Illustrator okay so here we go now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just this is something I came up with stay fresh university all right and the font that I'm using you see right here is all-star font and if you like this font and something that you want to use it's kind of a collegiate font I'm gonna put the link down in the description box where you can uh, download it right on um, t-shirt help desk I'm gonna put a whole new thing up that's gonna be coming soon um, you're gonna be able to get this font but um, I'm gonna have t-shirt fonts you know free fonts for you to just come and download okay so anyway I have this right here and um, I'm gonna make a watercolor graphic a simple watercolor graphic out of this but the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack this and um, kinda make it nice and neat so anyway you do it like this and what I do is after I get this to look how I want it I take it and I make the color a nice light color like a nice light gray or something like that just just a a, a, a really um, where is my swatches hold on here just a really light color gray now there's a method to this okay now that's pretty much it for right now and what you do is you make sure that th this is light light enough so that it's not um, too light so that you can't see it but just light enough for you can um, can see it and then you print it okay you print it and then that's where the magic happens okay so you just take this just like this and you print it out and I'm gonna show you what we do hey what's up people so I have my printout here as you can see it's a a light gray you can go lighter than this but I wanted to make sure that you guys can see it I have a little mug of water right here and I have my trusty little three four dollar watercolors right here nothing special all right let me take this out and this is pretty much it guys this is this is this is all you need so I'm gonna dip my water here and I'm gonna use I'm just gonna simply use the black the black ink you can use whatever you like but um, I strongly suggest you use a dark color black navy blue something like that okay we got some watercolor here I'm gonna dip it back in the water get it nice and wet and uh, let me just start to go over if you come in closer you can see right I don't know if you can see this you can see how some of this the ink is darker and other is lighter and it's not even you want that Usually, where you first put, when you first um, dip back into the watercolor and you come right back, and you come right back on the paper, is where it's going to be the darkest. And as I said, you know, just... These letters are thicker than the ones down there, so a couple of strokes goes through. And when you start to, you know, lose the color on the brush, and you could do this however you want to do it. This is just how I do it. There are no rules in life. The, the rule that I like is that we all get rich and live the life 
that we deserve in our hearts. And hopefully you feel like you deserve a beautiful life in your heart. Because the life you get is the life you deserve. And I want the best life ever. And what I want for me, I want for you all. So, and voila. Stay fresh. University. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a little something extra here. And you don't have to do this, but I just like it. I'm just going to take my water. I'm just going to go in this ink right here. Get a little bit more water. Get really saturated, right? A lot of water on, on this. Uh, ink, a little bit of ink or watercolor and water on this thing. And I'm just going to hit it and see these little like drops on there, you know. Which gives it little... You see those little drops on there? All right, cool. So we're gonna let this bad boy dry and then we're gonna scan it as is, okay? Just like that, all right? See you in a few. Okay guys, welcome back to the Photoshop portion of this video. So I scanned this and guys, you really should have a scanner. Uh, if you don't have a scanner, I really don't know what to tell you. Uh, maybe you could take a picture. Maybe you could take a picture because that's really what a scanner does. Um, you're not going to get the same quality, but, you know, get a scanner if there's a desktop publishing place in your area. I know you, places like Kinkos used to be really popular. They're, they're not as popular as they used to be. I guess everyone has their own equipment now. Anyway, so we have this bad boy scanned, and what I like to do is um, there's a whole lot of grays and stuff in the background and that's going to show up when we doing what we're trying to do so I like to go into image and then adjustments and then I go into levels alright and then I take my darkest darks and tighten those up make those dark then I go over here to my lightest lights, and then I, I try to get rid of those. I try to get rid of those. As much of those as possible. And then let me move my mids over. But you don't want to start to lose everything. I don't know if you guys can see what the graphic looks like. You know, you see that the darkest dark start to pop up. And some of these lights start to go away. I don't want them to go all the way away because I want you to be able to read what it says. I think that you can, you know, really read what this says, though. So I'm going to take these up. So I just really wanted to get rid of those mid mid range um, darks in the background so they don't show up. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. So I'm going to press OK. All right. And then I'm going to take my um, eraser tool here and just kind of erase around the edges because I just don't want any of those light lights to show up. I mean the mid, like the little mid-range, you know, shadows on the paper to show up because that really can be a problem later when we do what we have to do. Okay, so I think that's pretty okay. Uh, and then we're going to save that.
All right. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this on the t-shirt and we're going to show you how awesome this can look. Okay. So back to Illustrator now. Okay, guys. So now we have our little t-shirt body here. And um, I'm going to show you what the actual t-shirt, uh, give you a good idea what the actual t-shirt would look like. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to... Place that graphic. Okay, so you go up here to File. Place. Let's find our graphic here. There we go. Stay fresh. All right. Now, this is a trick that you all should know if you use Illustrator. Now, I only know how to do this in Illustrator. If you're using Corel Draw or Inkscape, I don't know how to do it. I'm really, really sorry. Okay? Um, so, um, if I find out, I'll definitely let you know. But if you're using Illustrator, you go to Object, Rasterize. Okay? Now, you're going to make sure that the color model is on bitmap. Not CMYK, not grayscale, but bitmap. Resolution should be at least 300. Background, and this is very important. Do not click white. Make sure that it's transparent. Okay? So, bitmap. Resolution is around about 300. You can make it less if you want to. I like 300. And the background is transparent. Okay? And you click OK. And I don't know if you can see what that does, but that bitmaps your graphic. Now, as you can, in, and I put transparent, you see the background is transparent. And one of the most awesome things about this is that now, right, this can be changed to any color. It's black now. You change the red. Yeah, I mean, any color in the, in the spectrum. It could be any Pantone color, whatever you want. We're just going to make this one, going to make this, uh, this nice red right here. Okay. Stay Fresh University. Let me pull in on this bad boy. And I'm going to view. And it's, you know, it's kind of hard to see how awesome this actually looks it really looks like watercolor right here is not really doing it justice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to export it and Maybe this will help you guys see this a little better. It, it's really, it really does look like an actual, uh, the computer really doesn't do it justice, but it really does look like an actual watercolor graphic when you get it printed, you know? But that's one way that you can do it, guys. Um, I hope this was useful. Um, and it, 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 it's, it's really not, if anyone knows, it's really not looking the way it is on the screen because of the pixelation, but 
it really when if you were to take this and, and get it printed or have a um a, a water uh, um a plastisol heat transfer of this done it would look exactly i mean exactly like these you know I've been doing this for 20 years, guys, so you, you just have to take my word for it. But it looks exactly like this. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this a try. And to your t-shirts, man, may all your t-shirts dreams come true. Talk to you soon. Peace. Of uh, the other colors. But, guys, that is, um, one, you know, an awesome t-shirt that you can make. Okay, so let me go. Let me go in. You know, we got to have the and symbol. So I want to take that and symbol. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Change that to that beautiful red.